Hey, good looking. I'm Vixen, and welcome back, or welcome for the first time. In the last episode, this happened. What? The balls. Let the epic story continue. Uh. Not sure I learnt a lot from that. Wonder if I'm supposed to have gotten anything from some of these rooms. Like this. Ooh, didn't see that before. Cortex chip, aha! Calms motor optics. How do I. Ah, okay. No, what? Ah, uh, I get it. Okay. It doesn't really. There we go. Maybe I just have to open them all? No? Uh. Do I have to get it in a straight line across here or what? What am I doing? Because that's not going to work, is it? Because there's no connection. See? I mean, what do you want from me? I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I thought maybe I had to do like some kind of strange connection thing, but I mean, it's not going to work, is it? Unless I just seal. No, that doesn't work. Aha! Eject. Okay. No, I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. Um. I don't... I don't... Okay, maybe if I do that... That... Oops. That, but everything has to connect to everything. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. How do I build a connection between them? Okay, so I want it to go this way. Am I going from here? Because that goes that way. So I want it to stop and go this way. Ah. <gasps> ah, oh. oh, I understand. Okay. Then I want it to go down and that way. Did that work? No signal to host. Cortex assembly removed. I think I got the chip. Was that on before? That box wasn't open. That's for bloody sure. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? So I'm guessing we get one thing from each room. So, one down. Structure gel and battery to go. Okay. Okay. You still there, dude? You're still there. That's good. Okay, I think we're done with this space. Oh good, whispers. Whoa! Where are you? Where? Where? Who? Where am I looking? I didn't even see him. Didn't even see him. I know it's important. Who are you? 
I mean, that's that's not Catherine or or anyone else that we know of. Easy, Simon. He's not going to hurt me. He wants me to help him. I feel no threat from him. Okay, we need a battery pack and structure gel. I guess we go upstairs. I think we've now officially done everything that we can down here. Unless that room with all the gunk has opened, which I don't assume that it has. Yeah, I think we just went. Let me check this map. I say check this map. Right, I think we just went... Well, we're there, aren't we? Maybe that's where we have to be. No, that's the midsection. How do we get to the upper? How do we get there? Okay, so we just went... Aha! We just went to this room and this room. We can't get into that room. For whatever reason. We're there, so then we go out there. Those are the... S yeah, I know. I got gotcha. you. So we can't get into that room. So we've done everything we can down here. <sighs> we've done everything we can down here. That's good to know. Dead bodies? Yeah, all as well. They're still dead. Everything's still good here. Right, okay, so we go upstairs. Two to go. So I'm not really sure <laughs> what I'm doing. Seems to be my general state of mind. I'm just collecting things so that I can move my brain into another thing so that I can finally go into the abyss, which, to be honest, is not something... Whoa, that was a sudden drop of sound, wasn't it? Yeah, which doesn't really sound like something I want to do. Okay, that didn't open. So what the hell did? Okay, we've already been there. That's the way that we have to go. What? But everything else is locked. What? How do I get to the very upper section? I mean, that's not made clear, is it? I mean, those are stairs. But I can't bloody use them. Oh no, it's the main entrance. No, that's not anything I can ever use. So, what? Is there another stairway that I just missed? Heavy footsteps of Simon. Okay, is there... Are there stairs here? No? How the hell do I get upper? I'm assuming upper might have stuff that I need. But I can't bloom and get there. Yeah, I need to go up there. How do I do that? Is there a ladder? I don't see one. That's strange. But it's true. I can't get over the way- ooh, this is on. You love me like you do. Ruffy. Jacob Halperin. An unusually sedated orange Ruffy. What the hell is a Ruffy? Found- is it a fish? Found hovering outside Omicron substation. Had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. Kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Well, that sounds nice, doesn't it? 
Shelley, dead on arrival. Claudia, Eames. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Luma probe at about 900 metres depth. It's a 150 centimetre long rudderfish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. Ah, <gasps> oh, did we get to meet this? I would love if there was robot sharks. I would love if there were robot sharks. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Orvery can't shut up about. Well, it's probably the structure gel, isn't it? That's fused everything else. Johan Ross, or Johan Ross. Dead on arrival, Claudia Eames. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. Ooh, that's interesting. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. So this happened after they left. I wonder if he um, objected to the whole process. And so someone killed him. Oh, I see I have to ro override it on each level. Okay, that makes... I guess that makes sense. Whoa! He's there. Dude, you have to just chill, axe! My god, man. I know. Okay, I'm there. Whoa, what the hell can I... Oh. Oh, no. Hydroponics. No, please don't whisper. I'm trying to think, okay? I got enough voices in my head as it is already. <sighs> I don't know why he's trying to frackin' balls. Oh dear. I don't know why he's trying to freak me out if he wants me to help him. I mean, this opened, didn't it? Crud baskets. Okay, so let's see where I haven't been. Click on this. Click on this. I know, I know, glitching all over the place. Okay, so... I haven't been to that hydroponics place. We're there. I haven't been to the, either laboratory. That's the storage, that this tiny little room. The infirmary we've been... And then we haven't been to this place because the glass was there and the airlock we can't get to. So we just have to go to these two laboratories, which are concealed rooms. That's good. Okay, so that's okay. I don't know how we get to upper yet, but I'm sure that will become clear. Okay, so this should be a laboratory. Clean room, not a classroom. Oh, I guess that's where you clean before you go into the laboratory. So that you're, uh, well, it's useless now, isn't it? Oh my god, is this a massive place? No foreign contaminants beyond this point. Well, <laughs> that's already destroyed. This is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no, it's just a lot of doors. I can get smart. Let me out, please. I'm being decontaminated. Oh. I'm being scanned. <sighs> You're just going to find a dead body. Not sure what that's going to read as, but enjoy. So I guess we'll find something in uh, one of the laboratories and maybe hydroponics. Or we'll find one thing on this level and then one thing on the upper level. No, we have to find everything on this level because there's no way to the upper level yet that I'm aware of. It's all strangely quiet. I don't trust it. Oh, 
Or maybe they were just like, you know, after the hellhole that was Theta. <laughs> Here, have some time to relax. But it is strangely quiet. Ba ba loo, ba 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 ba. Uh, well, all the drawers are locked. It's strange how everything is locked here. I don't fully understand why. What was that? I thought I heard someone cough. Guy without a head? Don't think it was him or her. What is that noise? Oh, What the hell is that? What is that and where is it coming? Oh, the emergency shower didn't work. Clearly your head just exploded, didn't it? Is that this thing on the table? Right. Click nothing that might trigger something. Okay, there's a bunch of... Theta. 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 Check previous results. Death phase. That sounds good. Uh, something about structure gel. And system shock. <laughs> Other things. Okay, I guess this is the thing. Is it a fish? What the hell is that? It's like a strange octopus. 2602? What? Is that the date? No, that can't be right. 26 hours? What? <laughs> I don't. Put it down, for God's sakes, man. We have other things to explore and investigate and deduce things from. Oh, maybe it's structure gel. Okay, really, I should have um, looked at the first one, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, 26 hours of incubation. That makes more sense. So this is... 26 days, maybe? So maybe this is either two minutes or two seconds. Make more sense if it was two seconds, wouldn't it? Because you'd take a picture right at the start. Put it down. So that's structure gel. Doesn't look like how I imagined it to. It just looks like tar. So all that stuff we've been seeing isn't oil. It's structure gel? Okay, this is either three days in or three hours in. It's over flooded. It's got little tendrils going all over the place. Ah, so I thought it was stuff left by the creatures, but it's just its own organic thing that's growing by itself. With it's in response to electromagnetic pulses. That's what I'm guessing that needle is, or whatever it is, conductor. Okay, so grows by itself. That's interesting. I guess this will tell us more. I'm going to check it out in a second, but for now. A photo of something that I actually cannot tell. A rat. Why? Why must you put a robot into a rat's brain? It doesn't look happy at all, does it? Look at it. It's in its eye. Did you do this or did something else do this and you found it? Because look at that. That's horrific. What were you even testing? My god. What you should have been testing was how to keep the human race alive if you really cared. Probably few enough mice as it was already. Right. Okay, so start at the beginning. Connectivity. Lisa Cameron. Okay. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while. Even when I remove 
When removed from a power source, if applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. So we're going to use that as a... Yep, I know. I know, it's a nightmare. We're going to use that as a battery pack. Okay, two days later, it seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modif- whoops. The modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. Cancer or a parasite? What exactly do you mean? What does it do? We use the gel to our advantage, but listen to me. I'm trying to read, okay? But it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Jacob Halperin, this is a few, well, a couple months later, applied gel to dead mouse. Oh, so it was a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. So it's like a parasite. They're like zombies? It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic, while the living one seemed stressed. Well, I can imagine why. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour- get the virus. Shh, I'm reading. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. It just attacks life? Progress. This is a couple months later. Reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. How is that impressive? It's like the opposite of what you want. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us... Would you not, please? This has always provided us... This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. I don't understand what it is you're actually trying to achieve. Are you trying to be able to bring people back from the dead? December! The structured gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WOW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. So, is that what happened to all the people without heads? Did they all have the structure gel applied to them and then their heads just exploded? For reasons that I don't understand yet. Claudia Eames, a couple, well a few days later, about a week. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, I want to see the sharks, were, ma were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. So this isn't really something that I want to put on my brain then. Will you p I'm trying to think. Because clearly the game is going to want me to do this, but I don't want to. <laughs> They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by a cancerous growth that affect their whole being. Affects? Growths? Cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. So maybe it is like alien goo. Like venom. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. To be honest, if you were already of such low numbers, I wouldn't have gone messing around with something that forces dead things to come back to life and kill things. That was just a mistake, wasn't it, really? Well, that's all for today, folks, but the story will continue. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you all in the future. TTFN and cheerio!